The product is not the same. You could get stuck or even worse, lost while walking through David Finlay's municipal marijuana grow operation. He has the maximum number of plants his license allows to serve the maximum number of medical marijuana patients across Maine. Bangor, Ellsworth, Waterville, and Lewiston currently. We're really capitalizing on the market because it's untapped. Indian Trail Farms is already a major supplier of medical marijuana in these cities. But Finlay's business is also trying something new, bringing marijuana to you in this mobile van on the Bangor waterfront. When uh, Bangor uh, does decide what they want to do with the recreational market, we hope we are able to get a recreational license in Bangor. It actually starts at the state level. You have to get a conditional license from the state before you can come and do any of the paperwork with us. Bangor City Councilwoman Claire Davitt has been tasked with just that. She's looking into the city licensing and managing associated fees to license the sale of recreational marijuana now that it's legal in Maine. There's definitely people who've been excited and waiting, um, so I think it, it will start to flow once licenses are in place. But according to Finlay, Bangor is already behind the times. It's why he's able to sell medical cannabis out of his truck in Bangor with a license in Machias. I think they have a long road ahead. Uh, before they're going to be able to uh, get, give out retail licenses in Bangor. And before they do, Finlay hopes the city council will consider and regulate who it gives a license to. Samantha Sugarman, New Center, Maine.